with short summers and a cold climate and a landscape of lava fields and glaciers, Iceland's not the first place you'd think of for farming. But pioneering entrepreneurs are growing some surprising crops and doing it sustainably. Inside this warehouse on the outskirts of Reykjavik is a vertical farm. Vaxa means grow in Icelandic and they're cultivating leafy greens. More like a lab than a typical farm, this is what's known as controlled environment agriculture. Here we have whole head lettuce, baby leaf, a lot of uh, herbs and these mini microgreens. Almost every detail is precisely fine-tuned. We can optimize everything, humidity, water, light hours, nutrition. We do not have to depend on sunlight here in the farm. The plants have high quality LED lights where we can use the green energy of Iceland to grow the plants. That means they can produce salad year round, even in the darkest winters. And there's no soil here just water. This is like a hydroponic system. We actually can circulate, reuse the water again. So we need like 90% less water than in an open field farm. Outside of Reykjavik, this is the country's most powerful geothermal plant. While Iceland's northerly location and climate may seem a disadvantage when it comes to farming, it's the limitless supply of clean energy that's also helped it to innovate. The glowing lights take a little getting used to, and inside is like nothing I've seen before. This tech firm has invented what it calls an energy to food platform. Now this place is not your typical farm. It's super high tech and growing inside these units is microalgae. Algae is not something that many of us eat today, but it could well be a food of the future. It's rich in protein, iron and fatty acids and Vaxa Technologies, unrelated to the salad producer, hopes to make this algae an everyday part of our diet. It's a new way of thinking about food production. This system uses a fraction of the land, a fraction of the water needed. It's carbon negative. Energy, CO2 and water. That's all that's needed for this aquatic organism to grow. It photosynthesizes. The algae is eating CO2 or it's turning the CO2 into biomass. It's all tightly controlled using artificial intelligence to find the perfect conditions. This pink purple glow comes from the tiny red and blue lights. Instead of spending our electricity in making wavelengths that they don't use, we are only giving them the light that they use to photosynthesize. This system gets clean electricity from the neighboring geothermal plant, as well as water for heating and cooling and even the CO2 that the algae take in. Algae, they are extremely efficient in changing light into biomass. We can use 100% of this biomass for food. It also grows very fast and once harvested, it looks like this, which to be frank, doesn't seem hugely appetizing. So time to give it a try. This is hummus, okay, and, it, blue hummus. and it's blue. <laughs> it's not supposed to be a punishment. It's not a bad thing. I suggest you try this okay. here. Okay, it doesn't taste unusual at all. But then there's a surprise. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Try but it. Uh, it doesn't taste of much. I think it's more the texture. I think it's going to take a bit more to wrap my head around this one. Maybe it will catch on, but I'm not sure I'm ready for blue food just yet. 